Hey y'all, Funny Bone here again. Carnell Littles. Y'all please follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. But what I want to talk to you about, I told you I get a kick out of the Donald Trump stuff. I see you uh phony Willis in Georgia has told uh Jack Smith about her intentions in Georgia about charging Donald Trump with the Rico statue. Folks, if y'all don't know what that is, <laughs> that's bad. That's uh a lot of people that's that been indicted for dope and all that stuff. You got a criminal organization, you could fall under the Rico statue statue, and they got videos of him, of Donald Trump, organizing that in a small town in Georgia. So, people don't really understand the United States, we don't like dictators. If you're trying to be a dictator, they're gonna come down on you really, really hard. And see, that's what Donald Trump is trying to do, be a dictator, just like his buddy Vladimir Putin. He's trying to be just like Vladimir. See, the Russian government, they'll go for that. You you being a dictator and a tyrant, they'll, they'll go for that. But here in the United States, they're not gonna go for no dictator, period. And what they doing to Donald Trump, people don't realize, what they doing to Donald Trump is to ensure that nobody else after this fool after him, no one else will try that. Because I got a feeling they're going to slam Donald Trump pretty hard. Donald Trump going to probably spend the rest of his life in prison. If everything goes the way them folks trying to make it go, he in some bad trouble. And it couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. I saw that lady trying to interview him. And she asked him, was he ready for some tough questions? He told her, you don't ask Biden no tough questions. Biden is irrelevant right now. These tough questions are appointed to you. You, not Joe Biden. Last that I checked, Joe Biden don't have not one single indictment on him. Not one. Can you say that, Mr. Trump? Nope. So, every time somebody try to ask him a tough question, or uh, uh, why did you do this, why? he brings Joe Biden's name up. No one asked you about no, Joe Biden. We already know about Joe Biden. Joe Biden ain't facing criminal charges like you. So, stop talking about Joe Biden. We we know Joe Biden. He talking about Joe Biden will heal records. Joe Biden's still the president. How he with holding records? He's still the president. What records he holding? Was he holding some when uh, Barack Obama was president and he was the vice president? He was holding records then? What are you talking about? Because we don't understand what you're talking about. What, what, what records? And they didn't subpoena him to return records. He did hit, hit withheld records that they was for him. And he turned them back in. Mr. Trump, you didn't. So what are you talking about? So, I don't know why they even waste time asking Donald Trump nothing. Because it's not going to be a true answer if he tell you something. So, why do y'all, I understand y'all want to know what kind of mind he's in. But the evidence showing. You learn something new every day that he's done. And he acting like he don't care. But he can get up there on that podium and do his campaign speeches and talk about Joe Biden and all that stuff. But you got something looming over you, buddy. And it ain't going away. You think this is going to go away? It's not. They got you right where they want you. And you don't even realize they got you right where they want to have you. So the thing is, what you need to do is stop talking 
Stop speaking. Because every time you speak, every time you open your big mouth, you get yourself in more trouble. So, and I used to think you was a smart man. You are in some things, real estate and stuff like that, but you, I, I found out that you, <sighs> man, it, it's bad. So, that, that federal judge that he appointed, Judge Cannon, she already messed up his 2024 campaign because she said, you're going to be in trial in 2024. Before 2024, you would be in trial. They, they lining up with charges against Trump. And it's going to be some states. There's going to be some states other than Georgia that's going to realize that what you did was wrong. You tried to steal 11,000, I want to say 300 or 800 or something votes. 11,000. That's what you lost by. And then you tell me, we need, and they had them on film, had them on video, on audio. Well, we, we need 11,000 votes. Y'all need to get me 11,000 votes. Do you understand that's illegal? Well, I know you do not because you don't got indicted for it. Just in case you didn't know that was illegal. You know now. That's illegal. So, they're going to get you, the RICO charge, they're going to get you for some everything, Donald Trump. Anything that they can think of, they're going to make sure you spend the rest of your days in jail. Well, not jail, prison. You're going to spend the rest of your days in prison because these folk lining up to get you. Now, you know, <laughs> I grew up with my grandma and granddad. Old folks will tell you, when you wear welcome out, you'll be an outcast for the rest of your days. 